Hey, what's going on, people? Patrick here, and coming at you with another video. So before you start laughing about the hat, I'll tell you why. I was taking a nap and woke up, and I kind of had the uh, Albert Einstein hairdo, you know, because I had some gel in my hair and it was all standing up. So I said, let me put a hat on. All right, instead of my usual baseball hats, I said, let me try this one out because I'm going on a cruise next month and we'll see how it would look. So making jokes, it's okay, I can take it. Anyway, the hat's not about the video. Um, it's actually. Not about the next thing I'm going to say either, but I did sell my SIG P365 today. <gasps> my God. Yep. Yeah, I know a lot of you are probably in shock. Um, and it's not because there was any issues with the handgun whatsoever. Love the handgun. It's great for concealment. Um, I think it's fantastic handgun. Didn't have any issues with uh, like primer strikes or failure to go into battery or anything like that. I had one of the newer editions and then I just basically bought it two weeks ago um, but somebody offered me the same amount I paid for it and something came in stock uh, that I've been waiting for for a while now so I decided to sell it so I could pick up this other item that I'm going to show you right now yes so I sold a P365 for this so some of you are probably freaking out but the true 1911 people out there understand why I love a 1911 this is the Ruger SR1911 officer size model. Again, the Ruger SR1911 officer size. All right, and what it comes with is a 3.6 inch nitrate, black nitrate uh, coated bow barrel, 3.6 inches, stainless steel slide, stainless steel full length guide rod. All right, the frame is a anodized aluminum and you have a skeletonized trigger and the gun is empty no mag, nothing in the chamber Just drop that down you got a skeletonized hammer three dot, no back sights I always paint my front sight orange because these blue eyes are getting older and it's harder to see that little white dot uh, but nice three dot sights that will come with it um, you don't have a right well I should say for a lefty um, safety you have one on the end that side. All right. Um, basically, you're actually in a really good spot. Right? So uh, and it moves fairly nice, as you can see. I like it. But it's not ambidextrous as far as that goes, and neither is the mag release. I don't think. Well, actually, it might be. You might be able to switch over the mag release for left-handed shooters. Anyway, um, a little bit heavy. 26 or 27 ounces but a lot lighter than most 1911s that are out there um, again I like a 1911 because when you have one of these in your hand you feel like you're holding a handgun okay you're not holding a piece of plastic this is a true handgun you know all metal ready to go no issues now I know some of you are still freaking out going how would you get rid of the P365 it takes 10 rounds or 12 rounds depending on the magazine and I'm going with a 7 round single stack All right. I like the way the 1911 shoot they shoot so flat so accurate that's all I need you know I mean I always you know carry an extra mag anyway so you know if you can't get it done with that then you're going to the wrong fight with the wrong weapons to be doing anyway but this isn't about that debate anyway again this also, I didn't mention, has a beveled slide in the front. All right? This is for easier holstering. Uh, the trigger on this thing is just incredible. And I'm going to show you. I have a magazine here that it came with. I put a snap cap in it, so you can see it's a snap cap. That brown cap is there. Let's slap that in. Right, and let's load it in. Again, it's a snap cap. All right, now, you push down on this safety back here. As some of you don't know, there's a safety that your hand hits on the back for your new shooters back there. All right, that's got to be engaged in order for that trigger to be pulled. Otherwise, you can see nothing's happening unless I push that in. Now watch. No take up whatsoever. Well, about a sixteenth of an inch take up, and boom, that's it. Fantastic. Now let's drop that out. Let's get the staff cap out. Okay. 
Um, another thing that's on here, Ruga did, was they rounded the butt of it over here. Right? It's not like a true bobtail, but they rounded it out. So this way it's not that point on the usual 1911s. So when you carry this, this is made to carry. So when you carry it with that rounded butt, you don't have that point digging into your side, you know, or in your back, depending on where you're carrying it, or in your stomach if you're carrying an appendix. Okay, um, so that's fantastic. All right? You just can't beat that. Now, one of the other things I loved about the Ruger model all right, is in order to take it down, all right, I noticed on a lot of other ones, you know, the EMPs, you know, for this size or a little bit smaller, the three inch ones, yeah, use like a safety pin to, you know, take the spring out. And it was this whole big Kung Fu Lugan nightmare you'd have to do in order to break down the handgun. Okay, this one you don't. All right. This one, I'm going to break it all down right now, but it's fairly easy. Um, take down, it's just like a regular 1911. The only difference is in the front, and again, it's unloaded, so it will calm down. There's no bushing that's usually here that you got to turn in order to get it to come out. There's actually just a little plug that's in the front here. And one of these days, I'll do a full strip down and show you how to do it. Um, but otherwise, Again, fantastic handgun, G10 grips, all right, with the Ruger Phoenix wings. And tomorrow I'm going to actually hit the range with this and give it the real test. And I'm going to bring one of my uh, my other 1911s, the commander size one, and 9mm. This is, I don't know if I said it, but this is chambered in 9mm. I'm going to bring uh, my other one there and compare the both of them shooting. Um, but I, I just know this thing's going to be fantastic. I happen to like Ruger. Uh, it's an American-made company. Um, I like, you know, giving jobs here in America. I like to keep it that way. They have great customer service. Um, <clears throat> my only issue with Ruger, to be honest with you, is I used to have a Ruger American. It came in a plastic box. Right? The gun was foreign change, you know, at that time. Um, this gun runs in the 700 and up range. And they give you this cheap-ass cardboard box. All right? probably cost them a dime for the cardboard box you know the, the plastic boxes probably cost them a dollar maybe two dollars let's say five dollars because you know they buy in such quantity I'm sure they're getting them dirt cheap for those plastic boxes just injected plastic mold all right um, why they can't give it to you in that that's an issue I always have with some of these companies you know you're spending that kind of money give them a regular hard case box all right don't be cheap about it you know and I know a lot of people out there going well that's hard to keep the cost down you know no, it's not. They don't have to make, you know, that extra dollar or two dollar profit on us. Okay, they can eat that two dollar profit on us and say, let's give them a hard and solid case. I personally like to use the cases. In case there's a hurricane coming, you know, being in a hurricane country over here. Um, I like to uh, put some of my handguns in the hard cases and then stick them in the safe just in case, you know, any water damage comes around. You know, it's just a, an extra layer of protection that I personally like to do. So this cardboard box is pretty much useless to me. Um, so, you know, that's it. Any questions? You want to goof on the hat? That's fine. Anything on the uh, handgun, you know, put it in. Questions, comments, no problem. Um, please like and subscribe, and hope you have a good night. And I'll get back to you tomorrow or the next day with an update on the range and how it did, and a comparison to a couple of the handguns. Again, this is the Ruger 1911 officer size model. Have a good night.